Is Bitcoin mining really worth it in 2025? That's the million Satoshi question right now on everyone's mind, even yours. Am I right, Jason? Depending on who you ask, mining is either destroying the planet. Bitcoin consumes more electricity than countries like Sweden and Pakistan. Uh, that's a country with more than 220 million people. Or the greatest technological innovation since the internet. Winter's not coming back. We're past that. We're past that phase. If Bitcoin's not going to zero, it's going to a million dollars. And you have all the evidence you need to determine that, right? The president of the United States has determined he supports Bitcoin. The cabinet supports Bitcoin. Scott Pessant supports Bitcoin. Paul Atkins has shown himself to be an enthusiastic believer of Bitcoin. And today we're going to break down three things. One, whether Bitcoin mining might be right for you. Two, how mining impacts the true cost per Bitcoin. And three, the surprisingly creative way that people are using all the heat from their Bitcoin miners. We're talking greenhouses in Scandinavia, apartment complexes in Canada, even pools and bathhouses powered by mining rigs. So maybe the real question isn't if Bitcoin mining is worth it. It might be closer to whether this so-called wasted heat is flipping the entire energy debate on its head. I'm Oceans. This is Beyond Bitcoin. Let's dive in. Let's start by getting a little personal. Should you be mining? Who, oh, me? Here's the honest truth. For most individuals, running a few mining rigs in your garage isn't the golden ticket it used to be. Difficulty has climbed to new record highs, and industrial-scale miners dominate. Energy prices in many places have made home mining barely profitable, unless you have access to stranded or cheap energy. But that doesn't mean that mining is not worth it. It just means that the question has shifted. Mining today isn't just about squeezing out sats from your basement rig. It's also about participating in an energy market. If you're in Paraguay with hydro or Texas with wind or even Iceland with geothermal, mining can be incredibly profitable. But if you're in California paying basic utility rates, not so much. So the better lens is, are you aligned with cheap, abundant energy? If yes, mining could be right for you. Mining also changes the way that we think about the cost of Bitcoin itself. On paper, the block subsidy plus the transaction fees is what pays the miners. But the hidden layer is electricity. Every Bitcoin in circulation is not backed by government decree, but backed by the megawatts that are burned to secure the network. Gigawatts. That electricity cost sets a kind of floor price. Studies show that miners turn off their machines when the Bitcoin price dips below the cost per coin. And that's why energy cost curves are such a big deal. And here's the kicker. Oh, yeah. The heat byproduct lowers the cost when it's reused. If you're heating apartments, pools, or greenhouses with mining rigs, this essentially gives you two products for the price of one. One, Bitcoin. Two, the heat. And that drops the cost of Bitcoin production in ways that critics don't account for. And this is where it gets interesting. Around the world, miners are finding quirky and practical ways to turn waste into value. In North Vancouver, Mint Green's digital boilers now heat 7,000 apartments and 100 buildings, recovering 96% of electricity as usable heat. In Scandinavia, greenhouses in negative 30 Celsius winters stay alive thanks to mining rigs. I need the fresh tomatoes in the Arctic. That sounds more like it's uh, from Transylvania. I need the fresh tomatoes in the Arctic. I'll be canceled for that one, I'm sure. In Brooklyn, there's a bathhouse. Imagine soaking in a spa heated by ASICs while those same rigs earn 1.5 Bitcoin a year. That's happening right now. But while the bathhouse is designed to evoke ancient tradition, what's going on behind the scenes is cutting edge. Step behind the old school facade, past the dryers and the back of house staff, and you'll find the pump room where the waters piped into the baths are heated up to 104 degrees. But you'll also find something extraordinary. Computers submerged in fluid, serving dual purposes, heating the water and mining Bitcoin. It kind of clicked in my mind. Bitcoin mining produces heat as a byproduct. I buy energy to create heat. He found YouTube videos of hobbyists using Bitcoin to heat their pools and hot tubs. Instead of cooling the computers with fans, they're submerged in a specially engineered biodegradable fluid that doesn't conduct the electric current, 
but does absorb the heat, which a heat exchanger transfers into hot water that moves directly into the pools. In Vancouver, there's a proposal to heat a public pool using mining rigs and also generate revenue for the city. An idea to heat Kitsilano pool using Bitcoin mining was discussed at a conference in Vancouver today. An event Mayor Ken Sim also attended and spoke at. This afternoon's panel was part of the Learning Bitcoin conference this weekend at the Vancouver Convention Centre. The participants discussed how Bitcoin miners are essentially computers and the heat generated from them could be used to heat Kit's pool for use all year round, adding it could even make the city money. Mining heat is no longer waste. It's becoming infrastructure. You may wonder why this Bitcoin mining contraption looks like it's built onto a trailer. Well, let me familiarize you with the concept of the stranded well. The ground beneath us here is filled with a pocket of black gold. On top of that oil is a giant pressurized cap of stranded gas. It gets that name because it's pretty hard to transport and it's going to come out of the ground as a part of the process of retrieving that oil. But a well like this one is simply too remote to do anything with the gas. You can't get a pipeline to it. You can't truck it away. It's either too expensive or technically not feasible to build a pipeline to carry away the gas. So what the oil companies do instead is this. They just set it on fire and burn it off into the air. That is an enormous amount of potential energy just literally up in flames. So this is where the innovative Bitcoin miner is swooping in. Instead of just venting this gas off into the atmosphere like you're literally seeing it do now, it can be diverted into these fairly giant generators. And since we're on the topic of resilience, let's talk about communications. Because when the grid fails or you happen to be off the beaten path, you still need to stay connected. That's where sat123.com comes in. Whether you're running miners off grid or you're just camping with your family, sat123 has got you covered in all aspects of life. And if you go to sat123.com right now and you put the promo code in simply, you'll get 15% off your purchase. Stay connected anywhere and don't lose your sovereignty. sat123.com. Let's zoom out again. This isn't just about pools and greenhouses. In Norway, Crypto Vault uses mining heat to dry lumber and plans to dry seaweed. In the US, Crusoe Energy deploys miners to capture flared gas at oil fields, turning pollution into profit. And Marathon Digital mines with landfill methane, literally turning trash into Bitcoin. According to the EPA, municipal solid waste landfills contribute to approximately 14% of human-related methane emissions in the United States. Instead of flaring or venting greenhouse gas, Bitcoin miners can beneficially use that energy directly on site. To explore this concept, Marathon has initiated a 280 kilowatt pilot project with Nodal Power to mine Bitcoin at an off-grid Utah landfill facility. If successful, Marathon may be able to further diversify its operations, lower its energy costs, and reduce greenhouse gas emissions. And this is the part that critics miss the most. Mining is evolving into an energy innovation lab. Instead of being an energy drain, it's becoming an energy optimizer. So, is mining worth it in 2025? Well, if you're paying a retail electricity, maybe not. Unless you have a bid axe or like a thousand bid axes. If you're chasing it for quick profit, also maybe not. But if you measure the network as an energy buyer of last resort, a floor setter for global power markets, and a generator of useful heat, then yes. It's absolutely worth it because for the first time we have a system where the waste byproduct heat of money itself is solving real world problems. Heat is everything. You wouldn't have anything without heat. We wouldn't have our modern technology without heat from cave fires to digital boilers. The pattern hasn't changed. Humanity moves forward when we learn of new ways to stay warm. And if you're wondering how to get into mining without filling your garage with noisy rigs, well, sasmining.com probably has the solution you're looking for. They host and maintain your miners powered by renewable energy like hydropower. You own the hardware, they handle the uptime and operations, and you collect the Bitcoin. Many of their sites are now 100% carbon free. So if you want to see firsthand if mining is worth it in 2025, go to sasmining.com and book a call with one of their expert team members. And start mining today. Thank you so much for watching this episode. If you like what you see and you want to see more, make sure you hit that like button below or you can hit the subscribe button to the Simply Bitcoin channel. We're coming out with content like this every single day of the week. Every single day. Also, don't forget to hit that notification bell. It'll give you updates on when we come out with our latest videos. Other than that, stay healthy, stay happy, be safe, and make money. I'm Oceans. This is Beyond Bitcoin. 
Sayonara, suckers. Sayonara, suckers.